Hey G2, hope you're doing well today. Um, I'm so excited to be with you guys as always. Today what I'm going to be doing is actually um, going to be spending some time in prayer with you, uh, for you and over your studies. So I know that as we gear up towards the end of the year, many of us are taking exams. Um, if you're in high school, if you're in college, if you're in primary school, or maybe you're a young professional and you're upskilling right now. Maybe you're in a season of your life where, or, or in your career where you are taking more short courses or you're just upskilling it. You're, you're getting to know more about what you do so you can do it better. Uh, regardless, if you are coming into a season of testing, if you're coming into a season of examinations, I just want to partner with you in prayer. We did this on Sunday and it got such a great response. And I didn't want everybody um, who, who isn't uh, in person to miss out on just the significance of partnering uh, in faith faith over this um, specific point of agreement. And I believe that as we include God in what we do in our studies, in how we steward our uh, gifts and abilities and our education, there is really an honoring and a blessing and um, a, a grace and an anointing uh, to be able to glorify God in how we steward it. So would you just agree with me in prayer over your studies? And this is one of those videos I want to encourage you to just continue to come back to. This is not just for this season, but uh, this applies to any season of examinations or uh, test taking or uh, cycle tests if you're in high school. So I would encourage you to just continually revisit this, continually come back to this um, so that you never miss out on uh, an opportunity to just pray and include God in us. So let's just pray together. Lord, I want to thank you right now that you have given us the Lord incre incredible privilege to be educated, to learn about various facets of life and areas of interest. I thank you, Father, that you have anointed each one of us with exceptional minds. I thank you for an excellency in the way that we steward our education. Lord, I come against uh, a pressure and anxiety and depression and panic um, in the season of tests. I thank you, Lord, for clarity of mind. I thank you for, Lord, supernatural and miraculous focus in the season. I thank you for a diligence, uh, a willingness to get stuck in, a willingness to go and do the work, a willingness, and Lord, even an excitement and an interest in things and in subjects that we may not be naturally interested in. Lord, we know that you are using all of this for our good, whether we feel like we are placed perfectly in our education, in our degree in high school, or imperfectly in it. If it doesn't feel like a good fit, we know that you are using this. Lord, you are equipping us with things, key things to be able to take into our future in order to be effective in the marketplace for your glory. I thank you, Father, that even before uh, exams are over and before, Lord, uh, high school students graduate and college students graduate with their undergrad, postal masters, opportunity would begin to come in the form of internships, jobs, promotion, funding for businesses. Uh, Lord, that um, individuals would even get the attention of venture capitalists and different firms. Uh, Lord, and angel investors, I thank you, Father, that there would be a recognition of the grace and the ability and the excellency that is on your people in this area, and that there would just be a calm. We thank you, Lord, for the Philippians. 413. Lord, that peace that surpasses understanding, that we would not be nervous, that we would not be anxious, but we would go into the season and this time just filled with your word, filled with your peace and your comfort to be able to do the best that we can do in this time of examination. We thank you for exceptional results in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Well, hey, if you agreed with that prayer, if you received that for yourself, I want to wish you all of the best. Um, I want to say if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me. Um, I really enjoy partnering my faith with yours in these matters and I am looking forward to the testimonies of great results and getting accepted into great colleges getting accepted into great internship programs and job opportunities and promotion opportunities and even the businesses that inevitably get started out of this form of education in your life in the season of education I know that God uses all of this for the good and I even in my own life recognize that I do not know exactly how God is going to use everything that I've been equipped with. There is some stuff that I'm being equipped with right now that I don't feel I even have any use for uh, in my undergraduate degree, but I know that nothing is wasted in the kingdom of God, and God is always going to use and maximize that. So I want to say I love you, G2. I cannot wait for next time. And I, hey, I wish you all the best.